Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Now, over the past 24 hours I've been doing quite a bit on this game off screen just to boost the social points. Basically, the social points are here to add a discount to some of the machines in the shops. Now, the vehicles which we can get in the game are actually different to each store. So you can't just go to one of these places, sorry I didn't mean to do that, one of these places and just expect to get what you require. So we've got a vehicle store here, there's one here, and also one just down here. Uh, yeah, you'd have to go to each one to figure out uh, if what you need is there. So I, as I know, this one down here, that's got like a, a truck, a lorry kind of a thing, a muck spreader, or a slurry spreader, um, and I think there's a new tractor there as well. We've already been, I keep doing the right click. We've already been to this one here, so we know what's there. And this one up here, it's got things like plows and stuff like that. So uh, as soon as we can afford to buy a new machine, we'll obviously buy one. But we're quite a long way from that at the moment. So uh, yeah, also what I did is I accidentally started a job down here, which I didn't really want to do, as it turns out. It is to plow a field, but we don't have the plow yet. And well, you can buy plows, but you'd also have to buy the bigger tractor. It is a Linden tractor, I think, the one you can buy. Obviously, we're stuck with this small one, um, which means we'd have to acquire the smaller plow. Now, I don't know what we have to do, but it's called Clara's Job. You notice a lady by her farm. Perhaps it would be nice to say hello. Yeah, definitely, if it means getting a plow. So here we are. We're at the farm. All we have to do is find her, wherever she may be. Ah, here she is. So good to see you, sweetheart. Care to help an old lady. What can I do for you, ma'am? My husband's working abroad. He should be back home week ago, but he's still busy working. I need one of my fields plowed and cultivated. Will you do it for me, please? Use that old plow over there by the barn. You can keep it when you're done. My husband's bringing a new one. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Right, so very generous. All we have to do is plow and cultivate her field, and then we can keep the plow. Here it is, it's a four furrow, non-reversible by the look of it. Um, but yeah, it's old. What do you expect? Um, we'll have to buy a very expensive one later. Uh, they're big blue plows, I should probably go over to the store at some point and show you. Um, but yes, if we can get this done first of all, that would be absolutely amazing. Now one thing before we do this is the volume. The volume of the speaking is actually quite good, the talking. Uh, but the tractor is excessively loud, so hopefully that's a bit better. Because I still would like it if you could hear me. As painful as it might be for some of you to hear me, uh, it would be quite good if you could actually understand what I'm saying. So um, yeah, let's do this. Who's this chap who just turned up? Let's see. Hello? I'm busy. Oh, oh, I see, you're busy. Right. Well, we'll leave you to it then. We've got to do some ploughing anyway, and some cultivating. Now, the cultivator, that is an issue. I don't actually know where the cultivator is. We may have to acquire that from somebody else. We do have um, a harrow, so it might be referring to a harrow. Um, when it, when it says cultivating, how do you get? Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering then, is it like manual attachment? No. Uh, so let's go to the field, somewhere around here. Somewhere. Is it back over there? It's back here. Right. So hopefully it's not a very big field because I, I think with this sort sort of size plow, it's going to take some time. Yeah. So that is okay. That is pretty good. We'll start from here. Hopefully it's going to figure out straight away that we are plowing the field for her. Oh, 3D plowing textures. And quite a fast tractor. I really should set up the steering wheel actually, because obviously at the moment I'm just using the keyboard and trying to maintain a solid speed is fairly difficult with a keyboard. But so far I like that. But yeah, this is gonna take some time and I am seriously hungry. Let's eat some Italian tomato soup. Mmm, lovely. I suppose we'll just have to plow flat out. It looks a bit crazy, but it would do uh, until I can get the pedal set up. 
I know this game does have controller support. In fact, I think it does say full controller support on Steam. So I would say that anything works, or that could just be Xbox controllers, that kind of thing. I can't say for sure without trying it, but yeah, we'll give it a go next time. Now that does seem to be pretty good. That's working effectively. <laughs> Even though we are doing it at some insane speed. Uh, but to be fair, I would like to get this done anyway because we do need to progress onto a different job as well. But the, uh, the, the 3D furrows, absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, wrong side. You see, I'm not used to non reversible, so used to reversible plows. Looking good. Very dry soil. Very dry. Well, I'm sure the cultivator will make this look like a perfect seedbed when we do it. But yeah, I can only assume it is the harrow which we have to use, which is over at our farm. Which actually is just down the road from here. Now, to be fair, this other farmer, whoever it is, uh, who wants their field ploughing, I don't really want to do it for them. And <laughs> there is a reason for this. The field is huge. And way out of the capabilities of this setup. So really we should leave that until we can actually afford a bigger tractor and a bigger plow. Now that might sound lazy but honestly if you were to compare the size of this plow to uh, what it actually has to do, if you saw the field as well, I think you would soon agree with me. So yeah that is what we're going to do. Now I've been to the church, going to the church was um, a thousand social points which obviously like I said at the beginning is to uh, get you a good discount on machinery and actually I think if you have the required social points like 105,000 social points for something like a tractor it can halve the price so the tractor is about 110,000 pounds and it can be about 55,000 if you've got the social points required so it really does do wonders if you have got the social skills and as I say to get these social skills all you have to do is do different jobs for people, talk to people and uh, yeah, you just uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna fly through the game really. So, although it is actually, from what I can tell, a very in-depth and long game, um, I think it shouldn't be too long until we can actually afford the first machine. Now, I don't think we'll be able to afford the first tractor for a while, but a trailer, that kind of thing, would be very useful. And I, I say this because we do need the trailer very soon to do the harvest. I have started the harvest off screen. But I've left enough of the field for us to do later after this, just so that we can obviously see it as a as a, a team, I suppose, because um, I don't want to sort of miss bits out of the videos, because everybody wants to see the harvest. Right, okay, let's go back down here. But that is looking okay. I think the rest of the field I'll do as a time lapse. So if you just bear with me, I'll find the tune and we'll finish off. Okay, so that is that piece of the, uh, the job done. The ploughing is completed. Next we have to go back to our farm, which is 400 metres away. Nothing really. And, whoa, drive through a little river, which wasn't on the uh, to-do list, but still we've just done it. Uh, yes, let's go and replace this with the cultivator. Now, I am 99% sure it's actually referring to the harrow. And I hope it is, because otherwise uh, <laughs> then I'm not going to be able to find it. But I'm Looking at it, it's going to actually put a marker on it, so we should be fine. But yeah, it, I think it is the harrow, which is like a chain harrow, which doesn't really seem to be suitable for this kind of job, but fair enough, that's what we're going to do, because I know that we can get much bigger cultivators, like proper cultivators, uh, but they're for the bigger tractor, which we have to buy later. So we'll do as we're told, we'll go and get it, we'll drop this off, and finish off 
far as field. Here is the field which I'm harvesting, halfway through pretty much. Actually it seems to have seems to have regrown. Oh no, 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 it hasn't. Actually, this is two fields together. Yep, yeah, it's still the same. We can also acquire a baler from somebody else as well. That's a later job. So you can get all the equipment that which you require uh, pretty much through just doing uh, favours, but some of these favours require a lot of work. And it's all the really basic equipment. It isn't expensive stuff. It's very small. That should fit in there, actually. There we go. So we have got a free plough. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, no manual attached. Why do I keep thinking it's got manual attached? How weird. Um, that's a point there. How do you, how do you take it off? Q. Oh, it's Q. There we go. Good. Our plow has landed safely. It is the harrow. That's exactly where the marker is. Now, uh, also, before we uh, continue, because we don't have a trailer, what we have to do is unload the combine straight into the silo just here. I'll show you that later on. But first, we've got a job to do. You can see this field here, that's where we've done. It wasn't 100% ripe, so it's worth waiting. Off we go. Cultivate the field. Actually, it is quite a wide working width this, so it should get the job done in no time. I don't think we'll take the, uh, the journey through the river this time, or through the stream. Uh, we'll go the proper way through the farm. And uh, I'm actually intrigued to see what it's going to do to the ploughing texture. Is it just going to change it to like a 2D texture? Or is it again going to be 3D? Let's find out. Ah, oh, look at that. It is indeed changing the texture. Uh, I think it's still 3D ground. Or is it levelling the ground as well? It might be levelling it. Uh, either way, it's doing a good job. So we'll continue with the same idea lifting up and going back down the middle. Let's see if it actually does uh, level this ground off. Yes, I think it is doing. Yep. Oh, we're doing this at some extreme speed. Very, very effective. Not the neatest of jobs, but I really do want to progress today. We have things to do. This was really just so we could get an idea of what the farming uh, well, 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 I say farming, what the actual tractor driving experience is like uh, in the field and also to gain the plough. We can now thankfully say that we own a plough. I wonder if you can sell a plough. <laughs> I don't know. If we could sell any implement in exchange for a new one, then uh, we should be able to get a trailer or something like that sometime very soon. But, very important, we can't just go and sell a cultivator or a plough or anything like that. Uh, without replacing it with another one, because otherwise we're going to be uh, stuck. Very stuck. As they're always going to be needed. So we must be very careful. But I'm not really in any rush. I'm, I'm just very happy um, taking my own time, experiencing the game, testing the game, and having fun. So we'll just keep going to our own pace. And I know my pace is quite slow, but... Some people like it. In fact, most people do, I think, actually. <laughs> be, be honest, though. Be honest. Is my pace too slow? Now, one thing I've noticed in this game is that the fuel usage is very dynamic. By this I mean, if you're just driving on a road, then the fuel usage will be very small. Uh, you, you don't get through much fuel at all. You do get through some, but very little. Whereas if you're actually doing field work, like this, the consumption is dramatically increased. 37% are on now. When we started we had 89% and the 11% which was used before that, I had already driven the entire perimeter of the map. So that just goes to show how the fuel usage is different. Now we're just finishing off here. 36% fuel. The good thing is though, there are plenty of uh, refill points around the map, fuel stations, and if we want to we can actually refill a tank in our yard so we can refill it there as well, later. Uh, but first, I think it is a wise idea to actually have the, the money 
available to fill up the tank uh, before we actually go spending that kind of money. We only have about 520 euros, something like that, so it isn't really worth uh, rushing. Now there is another thing I want to show you as well, and that is the different crop types. Uh, there is actually a very wide range of different crops you can plant, but I can't remember them off the top of my head, so what I'm going to do is go over to the seed store and show you there, because there is a good list of it. Right, the quest is about to update, I think. Come on, ping up and say we've finished, please. Any second, probably because I've left a mess over here. It's a bit neat first. And I might have missed a bit of the top. But yes, it should flash up in a second saying the quest is either updated or finished. I think it should be finished. We have to leave a very tidy job. Okay, will that do it for you? Thank you. Uh, right, quest updated. It is updated. The old mill. Oh no, wait, sorry, no, it's finished. That's finished. We received the plough and 500 social points. Something about the old mill, though. Something else must have to be done down here. Uh, let me just see. That's the old mill there. Okay, I might have just uh, read two different jobs there for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, yes, we have now benefited from the new plough. We've gained some social points, and we're doing okay. So I'll take this back to the yard. We'll do a bit of harvesting. And I'll show you how all that works as well. But the one problem with the harvesting, the same as this, is because I don't have the steering wheel set up, or the pedals either, uh, we can't really maintain the speed, which is a problem. Because we really shouldn't be harvesting at like 13, 14 kilometers per hour, but we have to. Unless I sort of just keep pressing the, uh, the forwards button every now and then just to keep the speed going, which could work. But no, a, a pedal and steering wheel, pedals and steering wheel would be much better. So the job over there is for ploughing. Again, like I say, I think we'll leave it for the time being, unless we become really desperate for work, because there is lots of other stuff we can do, and I really do want to do that with a bigger plough, <laughs> because the bigger ploughs are much bigger, and obviously that mean using a brand new tractor, which will always be nice. Although using the old tractors as well, that's decent too. Anyway, uh, I don't think we'll dump the uh, the the drag the harrow thing into the grass undergrowth again. I think we'll put it into a barn. It's only fair. Despite it being very rusty, it needs a bit of love. So we'll open this up. Hopefully it's empty in here. It kind of is. There's the fuel store. Which I think is actually just some, yeah, just some drums with a pump. And possibly another tank. Is it going to fit? Just about. Very close, actually. Now, the fuel tank. Let me just go on there. Uh, yes, you can refuel it for... Uh, yes, it actually does have something in it, in, in the John Deere. Fuel in stock, 40 litres. Right. So if we were to refuel it... Does that cost us anything? Or have I done something wrong here? Hang on, no, wait. I must have just refueled the tractor. I have. I've refueled the tractor. So there was already something in our storage tank. Anyway, come on, come on. This probably wasn't the best place to put this. In fact, forget it. I'll put it in here. Otherwise, there's going to be a problem. Ooh, it's our mower. Now, there are some brand new mowers that you can buy from the shops. So, in fact, there's quite a lot of stuff you can buy. I've had a look off screen and I kind of feel bad for doing it because I should have shown everybody else. I will do though in either this video or the next one. Right, I think that can stay there for the time being. We'll jump into this combine harvester, we'll do one tank load which might finish the field and we'll then unload it and go from there. Oh dear, that's, uh, that's not good. Right, so a bit of first person view here. I'll turn the header on and let's continue. It might flash up with the message saying the crop isn't ripe. Uh, it was sort of right on the limit of uh, growing 
and fully ripe or, or ripe. I think it is ripe now though, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm sort of pressing W every now and then just to keep the speed up, but it's still 13 or 14 kilometers per hour, which is a bit too fast. Um, but the fill rate is decent, very decent. So we'll go up and down the field, just keep going. One thing I've noticed at this stage is you can actually overfill the combine harvester. Before I got it to 105% and I, I was the person who stopped it, it didn't stop it itself. Um, so I don't know, you probably could go forever, it might be patched later. There is a patch coming out later so it could be fixed then. But either way, it is a minor technicality. So if I right click you can see the status of each field and this field is, what does it say, ready to harvest 35% obviously going down because we're harvesting it, 64% done and this is wheat. It's a 0 0.89 hectare field and yeah it's going to need to be ploughed and cultivated later but we can now do that because we have a plough and a cultivator but we don't have the drill, not yet, we're going to have to get that later. In fact, to get the seed drill, that is the job where you have to plough this very large field. Not only do you have to plough the field, but you also have to repair two greenhouses, which is a pretty big job in itself. So, I, yeah, I'm kind of put off that job for the time being. There is another job we can do first, which is the baler. And, yeah, getting the baler for this field would be fantastic. Can't wait to see some bales. Oh, that's scary. Good grief. <laughs> yes. Um, took me by surprise. Anyway, how full are we? 50%, perfect, we're going to get it all in then. We can finish this field today. I'll just keep going. And hopefully, you get a pretty good idea of what the harvesting is like in this game. Ugh. <laughs> keep doing that. Now, I have actually slept between the two episodes because, like I say, I was doing stuff off screen. Uh, so it did go dark, I slept and stuff and replenished all of our condition bar here. We have just had to have that Italian soup or whatever it was, uh, which was very nice indeed. But yeah, I keep meaning to show the sleeping on screen. I might have shown it before, I'm not too sure. Is it all going to fit? Yeah, it should do. Okay, so we are 100% full. As you can see, it's still going. I wonder what happens if you overfill. I, I'm kind of uh, against overfilling just because the game might have implemented a mechanism to actually break something on the harvester, and breaking something on the first fill would not be a wise idea. So, this really is pushing it, and I, I should unload. Um, it's just because we have such a, a small amount left to do. It's 106% full. That's not right. I, I am, I'm doing it wrong. Anyway, uh, yes, that is done. I think we've got away with it, even though, yeah, it's 108%. And there's a tiny bit left to get here. That'll have to do. Okay, so I'll turn the header off and we'll put the discharge pipe out to the auger. We have to unload it directly into the hopper just because that's the way we have to do it at the moment, because we have no trailer. Now, a word of warning. If you've already harvested a crop and you've already put it in here, you would actually be, uh, if, if you were to do this now, you'd be throwing this down the drain, because it is one crop type uh, to each silo. So here we go. Unloading. As you can see there it says pour grains here to store them. The silo can contain only one sort of grain, so if you pour another, you'll lose them. Meaning, because we've got two combine loads in here, we should have roughly six tons. Seven tons, seven and a half tons, wow. That is impressive. If you have already put a crop type in here, what you have to do is go over here. You can put another in here, and it goes up to the, the storage loft up there. So yeah, that's just a, another good solution to that kind of thing. Uh, right, to finish off with today, what we're going to do is just jump back onto the tractor and we're gonna drive over to, let me just open up the map and show you. 
We're going to drive to the closest... Uh, where's he gone? I've lost it. Uh, <laughs> there, there we go. The closest agricultural store, which I think is this one here. Uh, so, I would love to show you the, uh, the different crop types, which we can actually have. So, where is it from here? That way. Yeah, so I'll show you the crop types and then we'll call it a day and there should be another video tomorrow, hopefully. Because I am really enjoying this game so far. Great fun. If you want to see information about anything at all, just press the right mouse button and if there's anything to say, it will tell you. At the moment it is just the tractor, but if we were to go up to a field, then it should tell us some information about that as well. It might not be close enough to this field. There you go, canola. In fact, what does the canola crop look like close up? Pretty decent, actually. Nice. Alright, we'll get back on the John Deere. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm very... Uh, <laughs> I'm obsessed with right-clicking now. I want to see all the information about stuff. But this is the store over here. And hopefully, you're going to be quite impressed with the diversity. A beautiful day. Right, so in here uh, we've got everything which is available to us, mostly seed, but also you can buy hens from here, uh, you can buy cow food which is in the, uh, the form of hay I think, and also some chicken food. So we've got wheat, maize, barley, canola, peas, soy, lupin or is it, or is it lupine? Lupin, grass, uh, zucchini, zucchini, uh, which I think is like a courgette. Tomatoes, pumpkins. Then you can buy the hens, the bird food, which I can only assume is for the hens, cows, and also the the hay for the cows. So that's what you can get from here. Quite a lot of different crop types here. Uh, I don't think there is anything which you would sort of expect, but isn't here. No, it seems to all be all be good. Uh, but there you go, that is the agricultural store. And you can see there's some things growing in here as well. Anyway, yeah, we're going to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.